Hey everyone, it's Megan with Crafty Planner Lover here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to be planning for October 23rd through the 29th in my catch-all planner using the amazing kit by Plan My Stickers. Now if you guys are familiar with her, she may also be known as Renee Plans, but she changed her name to fit more of her personal style and I am actually on her new PR team. So if you guys want to use my code MEGAN15, it will save you 15% off of your order. She's got tons of amazing printables and beautiful things and actually this is her one of her dashboards that she has. They are sized for a classic happy planner but you can size them to any kind of way you want to. Um, I will insert a picture here that I resized her planner, um, her Happy Halloween other dashboard planner, and put it in my uh, health and wellness planner. And you can use all of the printables and, and, and you can resize them. You can use as many as you want to and I absolutely love it. So if you guys are wanting to check out her shop, I will leave it in the description box below. But this is the kit I'm going to be using. It is called the Halloween Kit and it is beautiful and I really love it so that is what we're going to be using this week because it's technically the last full week of October and it's also one of like it's it's what I'm going to use to decorate uh, to celebrate Halloween I guess is what we would say and I am so excited for you guys to see how I use this spread. Alright so I did go ahead and cut everything out and um, I made sure that everything was sized properly and all of that fun stuff. So I think we're going to start with the, um, what are these called? The date covers. <laughs> Words are so hard today. Um, we're going to start with the date covers, I think. We've got that down. I love it. It is so cute. We're definitely going to have to do something with the spine because that's gross. We don't like that. Um, but let's go ahead and put down the sidebar because I think that this is really cute. I'm definitely not a Skulls fan um, in terms of like creepy, gross, gory Halloween stuff. But the Skulls on her kit are very subtle and very cute. So I really, I do like the design that she's got in her kit and just the fact that it's like super cutesy and fun. That's something that I really like um, about cutesy Halloween. I'm definitely not a horror Halloween person. <laughs> now you can use uh, your own, you know, Cricut or whatever. I just don't have one of those. So I fussy cut these and laid them down on my own. Um, like and printed it with regular printer paper so you can definitely do that if you are like oh my gosh I don't know I don't have that kind of thing that's okay you don't have to have a specific kind of printer for it um you know part of me feels like this would be cute to put on here but I want to save it um we do need to add some date covers and what I think I'm going to do is it comes with these bullets and I didn't cut them out yet because I wanted to see how I wanted to do the dates and I think I'm gonna put the dates on these bullets okay now that I'm looking at this kit it definitely looks like it's more of a monthly kit but it's okay because we can make any kit work in any planner so just so you know what I did is because this is a printable, right, and you can print out as many as you want, I did print out a second copy of this kit and I cut the sidebar so that I'd have more boxes. Because if you guys have seen any of my Plan With Me's before, you know I really like to have a lot of boxes to decorate the spread. So what I think we are going to do, I think we're going to do the ghosties here. And maybe a star box. Uh, my goal is to kind of plan out, like lay the stickers down in the order that I want them to be. And then glue them down, like firmly glue them down. Um, so let's have... Hmm, kind of like that. And then we can do another set of the ghosties. Let's do those guys here. Mm. 
we're going to do it this way. I do need to make sure I have room for at least two different checklists, one for to-dos and one for chores. Um, but I do like how this is laid down. I think I might go ahead and glue these down now. Um, I've got to figure out what to do with this spine because it is really bothering me and I do not like it. Um, so I think I'm going to have to pull some washi to cover it up because I just do not feel like whiting all, all of that line. So let me go ahead and glue these down and grab some washi. Y'all, my crafting desk is a mess right now. I found some washi that I think will work. Um, it's just black grid washi, but the colors in the spread definitely give me like darker Halloween vibes. So I thought this washi would work well just to cover up the spine because I am not a fan of the spine. And you guys know this if you've seen any of my plan with me's before, but we only have like two more months in this planner and then we don't have to worry about covering up the spine anymore because my catch-all is going to be my Hobonichi Weeks planner which is going to be very exciting but enough about that all right I just dropped my washi tape hopefully I don't need it anymore because I don't know where it went we are gonna have to figure out how I want to set up the rest of this. I think I do like the Happy Halloween um, little sign here. I actually, this is a little Happy Halloween sign is from one of her other printables. I believe it's the Hello Weird uh, printable and I really loved it and I thought it was super, super cute to add to this kit because it just has that like Halloween vibe to it. Um, eventually I'm going to get myself some sticker paper so that all I have to do is just fussy cut it out and then not have to glue it down. That would save me so much time and I'm sure it would save me a lot of editing too. Um, but for now you guys are just watching me plan in real life and it's okay if you use a glue stick. It is okay. Now we need to figure out payday what we want to do with all of the other things, but actually, hmm. Okay, now we wanna figure out where I want to put the checklists. And what I did um, was, oh, that's crookedly cut. And what I did was um, the little bullets, I just decided to keep them like this because first of all, I'm terrible at cutting, terrible. Secondly, um, it looks better just to have it like this rather than, um, cutting them out individually and risking like ripping the stickers because I don't want to do that. So I think we're going to do one checklist here. Where do we want it to go? I'm kind of thinking over here, but it might be better to do it right here. Yeah. And then this one, I'm definitely going to have it here to balance everything out. And I think I'm going to try and stay away from the black label like this because I don't want to have inconsistencies with like when I'm writing things down because I'm already inconsistent when it comes to writing stuff down so I don't want to mess it up anymore. So I think we're going to use the two, um, what are these called, labels for that. All right, so now we've got some more boxes and like labels to add. We have payday on Tuesday. Which color do we want to use? I'm thinking maybe the blue because we don't really have too much blue. Yeah, we'll do payday here. Wednesday is grocery pickup day. And then um, off, I have a six day work week, so I'm off on Sunday. So we are going to put a happy box here. Which one do we want to use? I think we're going to use the pink. There's already a lot of purple in here. We're going to put that there and maybe I'll find some sort of deco. Maybe I'll pull some deco from her sheets and add that there. Um, let's see. I think that's all I need to add for important things. So I decided that I want to incorporate more of these. So with the other page that I printed out, um, these are actually from the, what is this called? Um, 
the top, like the date. And I think I want to make this bottom washi. So that is my thought process. And I'm really thinking that, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. So let me glue a piece of this down. I want to start on the edge here. And I think we're going to rip it like right there. That's going to be fun. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side and rip it, I think, where the ghost is. Maybe like right. Oh, you know what? I should rip it down this way. There we go. That's better. Okay, now I think I'm just going to add some, like, washi here and there to fill it out a bit more. everyone that is it for this week in my catch-all planner using the Halloween kit by Plan My Stickers or Renee Plans. I really love how this turned out and I am so happy that I was able to use a Halloween kit this month and I think it's so cute and it's definitely like the color scheme is me. I Like I said before I'm not a huge fan of skulls and things but it is super cute and I think that it is going to be a very fun week to plan in. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you want to save some money off of your order, you can use my code MEGAN15. It will save you 15% off of your printables from her shop. If you like this video and you want to see it more from me, don't forget to check out the description box below for different videos related to planning and crafting content. If you did like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already so you are notified when I post new videos and you are notified when there are new releases from the PRs that I'm on. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, craft on. Bye guys!